Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rana. Today is the 16th of May 2019. We're going to reflect on John chapter 13, 16 to 20. Listen. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their masters, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you, I know whom I have chosen, but it is to fulfill the scripture, the one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I tell you this now before it occurs so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am he. Very truly I tell you, whoever receives one whom I sent receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me, the gospel of the Lord. It has been a while since I started a reflection with a question, so let me ask you one today. I know that all of you have had relationships with people over the years, not necessarily romantic, friendships. I also know that while most of them have been good, I hope some have ended terribly. Trust has been shattered, confidences have been betrayed, hearts have been broken, yes? Now, here is the question. If you knew that a particular person was going to hurt you, would you still have allowed him or her into your life? I thought about this when I read today's passage. Jesus knew from the beginning what Judas was going to do, yet he allowed him to come into his inner circle. He lived with him, ate with him, taught him, loved him. He knew what Peter was going to do too, as well as the other apostles. We tend to fixate on Peter and Judas as two men who let down Jesus, but the others weren't too brave either. James and John fled when Jesus was arrested, yet he called them all his friends. How did he do it? Because Jesus was pure love, and as scripture says, love covers a multitude of sins. I want us to understand this because if we're to love like Jesus does, then we have to learn how love works. Imagine holding an object in your hand, like perhaps a remote control, like this one. I can see it clearly. But if I put a kerchief over it, like so, I don't see it anymore. It is not as if the remote disappears. It is still there, but I've concealed it now under this kerchief. It is the same with the sins of others. Love is the equivalent of this kerchief. I place it over the person's sins, choosing not to see them. Let me explain how this works practically. I've been married for close to 32 years now, and for the most part, especially before I came back to Christ, I was a terrible husband. Yet whenever I told my wife that, she would say, that's what you say, but I see only somebody wonderful. I can't even remember the bad things you did. I used to marvel at that, thinking God had given her a special grace. But as I have drawn near to Jesus over the years, I've realized that this automatically happens when you are close to him. You don't remember the bad things people do. And why should you? Think about your friendships. Haven't you had some wonderful moments together? Yet one little thing happens and you focus on that instead of the hundreds of good times you shared earlier. So don't remember the good times. And very soon you won't even remember the bad. And then you will be able to say, I still love you. And even though the person who hurt you may not understand how you possibly can, you know it's because how Jesus did it and you learned from him. Thank you.